last exercise career website engage the user we are going to go back to our career website we've been working on this throughout the past couple of units and we are going to make some changes to make our website our web page our website a little more interactive okay so we have some images on the front page that are rather small in this exercise we're going to enable the user to make the pictures bigger first we're going to add a rule so when you hover over the image it makes it the width and height 400, so it'll be 400 by 400. Then add the transition attribute to the image tag to enable the width and height to smoothly transition over a span of one second. So we don't wanna just jump abruptly into that larger size. We're gonna use the transition property to make it smooth. If you check out the results now, you'll notice that the background of the content div jumps sizes to accommodate the growing picture. Fix this problem by adding a minimum height to our div so that we don't have this issue to the content rule. Okay, so this specifies that the smallest height the div element can have is 600 pixels. Okay, so this will be easier to see when we actually code it. So let's get started. Oh, okay, so first we want to actually copy that code over because right now there's no... There's nothing to run. Okay, so let's first grab, I'm going to go in order as I usually do, all of the code on the homepage first. Okay, let's paste that here. Then the milestones page. Okay. I'm going to paste that here. The job info page is next. Okay, we did quite a bit on this project. You should be really proud of yourself. That was not a small task. And then finally, the style sheet. Okay, so I'm gonna grab all of this code and paste it here. Okay, so let's run this and make sure that we see what we should. Okay, so here's my home page. I'm gonna open it up in a new tab. And here are my four images. I did go back and add those in. So you should also have four pictures. They're not going to be the same because you most likely have a different job that you researched, but we are going to add the same effect. Okay, so what we want to do here is let's go ahead and add a rule so that when we hover over the image, it's 400 by 400. So I'm going to go ahead and add in a rule. So under my image rule, I'm going to put, it doesn't really matter where you put it, but I like to uh, keep things organized. All right. So image hover, we're going to do a width of 400 pixels and a height of 400 pixels. And we want that transition to happen over a span of one second for height and width. Okay. So that is going to need the transition property. And I think that takes care of that. Let's save it and refresh our page. Okay, so when I hover over the image, beautiful. Okay. All right, looks good. So it doesn't matter which image I hover over, it's going to add that effect because it's an image tag. All right, so that's the first part of this. Now, if you check out the results, you'll notice that the background of the content div jumps sizes to accommodate the growing picture. Fix this problem by adding minimum height to the content rule. So we don't want the content div to expand out when our image is expanding. So we're going to fix that in the content rule. And that's going to be over here, dot content because that div is in the content class, and we're gonna add a min height attribute. So this is going to give it, this is called a fixed layout. Basically, no matter what's going on, your height is gonna be 600 pixels for that div. Okay, so this specifies that the smallest height that the div can have is 600 pixels. Let's save that, let's refresh and see what that does now. Okay, so when I expand it, Okay, notice now I don't have the div expanding. 
I only have the images expanding, but what happened is the div did expand to a height of 600 pixels. So there's more than enough room to accommodate the growing images. Okay, that wraps up our advanced unit. You guys did so, so good. You guys and girls did so, so good. And I will see you in the next project, which is tell a story. And then we're moving on to bootstrap. So we are doing wonderful work. Please keep it up. Any questions, leave it in the comment.